So the biggest diaper needs within our community here at the lake really stem from financial hardships, especially in today's economy. So if you think about it, if families are struggling to provide diapers and baby wipes for their little ones are oftentimes struggling with other basic needs in their lives. So that's why here at The Changing Table, we partner with other like-minded organizations within the lake area to help get them to a more self-sufficient area in their life. Somebody that offers some other level of case management, other resources that we connect can connect them to other than just diapers. We see patients daily whose children need diapers um, or the pediatricians um, see the kiddos. So I can speak to you just last month in February, we served 95 families and we provided 193 diapers packages to them. And the other thing that's surprising is we gave out over 260 um, period product packages. And so when we think about the need and what we're meeting, it's also those young women um, and helping them feel safe and secure with their bodies. So a specific story is out of our Lori Clinic. Um, I believe it was January or February, one of the colder months, and we had a mom come in, and it was for her appointment, and um, the community health worker just noticed that the child was running around with no shoes on and no coat, even though it was really cold. So she just pulled the mom in and said, hey, we have some resources here at the clinic. We have the coat drive, and I've got some shoes back in my office, um, and then just noticed as she was talking to the mother that the child um, was, had some hygiene problems. And so she, the, the mother did not know anything about the changing table. And so we have been providing them diaper packages and they have been in since then. And the child has been clean and clothed. And you know, it just shows how those community partnerships can really work together. Um, we're meeting the health needs of the family, but we also have the other resources. So um, that's just one example. It happens daily in all of our clinics. Honestly, I never thought about it. I think like most people, that's something that you you don't even realize is going on. I worked in schools and I knew the poverty rates, but it never occurred to me that there was uh, a need for diapers, that they were going to have to choose between diapers and some other household expenses. We have, uh, in 2023, we served 541 households out in Stoutland in uh, cooperation with uh, three different agencies. And out of that, we had 185 individuals that were ages zero to 17. So we gave away several diapers to those people. Uh, thing that's kind of unique to Faithbridge is that there's also a need for adult diapers. We had no idea that we were gonna go out there and find such a need for that. Yeah, we have a couple of uh, single dads that uh, have come through here. They, one of them, um, the baby is actually getting ready to go out of the program because she's old enough to, um, but they're expecting a second one. So he's going to be back in it again <laughs> with, with diapers, but um, with his uh, now wife. Um, and then and we have another single dad that um, he's still rocking and rolling and he's very grateful every time he comes in to, to grab some diapers for his little his little one so it's actually kind of cool to see and it's not just from others it's it's the dads too that come in and, and get the and get the diapers and like the two single dads that I know so over 75 percent of the changing tables operations rely solely on volunteer hours donations and that's predominantly here in camden county so we're really thankful for the opportunity that the changing table has you know we partner with the lake of the ozark shootout uh, we partner with cfl a lot of really great and amazing opportunities um, are relied here solely in camden county